Hello everyone, it's Kingdom here again. I'm continuing with my pursuit of game dev skills and recognition in the community. So here I am with another devlog. Once again, I participated in Alternative Engine Game Jam on Itch.io, hosted by Open Game Dev Community Latvia. The idea of this jam is to use an engine which is not Unity, Unreal or Godot and it has to be open source as well. This time the theme was blind spot and again I entered with a creation made on a Blender game engine fork called UPBGE. As I don't have any coding knowledge this engine is perfect for me because I can do everything with logic bricks or logic nodes and also everything happens in the Blender environment which, is, which I know very very well. Uh, links to everything in the description. If I thought previously that my time is really limited, then this time I felt much more burned out from work and other things, so I managed to get on the jam only in the last two days, and definitely I didn't spend more than 8 or 12 hours on this game. This time I didn't have much time to brainstorm or, and generate ideas, but hearing the jam theme, blind spot, I immediately had few ideas in mind and without much overthinking I picked one. The mechanic that enemies are always spawning, spawning behind your back, so it immediately follows the jam theme. So I started by building a movement in first person, then I added something that spawns behind your back and always follows you. To give things a little more shape, I made the enemies to be giant floating guys, so that is another thing that relates to the theme blind spot. Next, to create the environment a little bit less boring, I really quickly made some gravestones. I guess it just kind of fitted the giant eye theme and also Halloween was just a week ago. Now the creation followed the jam theme well, but I had to actually turn it into a game now. So next I added a nerve to the eyes and made an attack animation. Then I added a health bar and made it so that it decreases if the animation reaches a certain frame while the player is also at a certain distance. Then to create a way to destroy the evil eyes. It's a first person game, so something that shoots seemed appropriate, but a gun seemed a bit boring, but a handgun, literally a hand, seemed also fitting with the idea of poking the eyes and making them blind. So I made a very, very low poly hand with a finger pointed forward, and then I added three hit points to the enemies. When you click the left mouse button, uh, an actual little projectile shoots out of the finger and if, hits, and if it hits the eye, uh, it takes the hit point and then despawns. After the three hit points are taken, the eye also despawns. A new eye spawns behind your back every few seconds. To make it a little bit harder, I manually made some bigger waves of eyes once you destroy a certain amount of enemies. <laughs> Lastly, I added a start menu and a lose screen, and most importantly sounds, uh, which makes the game much more funny and gives it a much more finished feeling. At the end of all of this, I somehow actually won the jam, even though I used the same engine for the second time, and also it only has three people, but still. And while I definitely had much less time to create something, the experience from the last jam definitely helped a lot. For the next altern alternative engine game jam, I will definitely use some other engine. Uh, and as I, as I don't know any programming, it will be a goddamn challenge, but I will try. Also, if I will find the time, I will still update this game and the game from the previous jam as well. Uh, these are some of the things I would like to add to the game. Some funny texts on the gravestones, a little bit more interesting environment with more objects, a starry sky, a 
score counter or time counter. A player bounding box should be made invisible and maybe some other things. I have definitely learned a few things from these gems and, and most importantly, even though these games are extremely unpolished and rough versions, I am training myself to create something publishable in a very, very limited time frame. I hope this wasn't too boring and once again, links to most things will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.